Hey guys, I Chessy 101 here yet again bringing you episode number 39 of my Football Manager 2011 Complete Ipswich Town playthrough. In this episode we'll be at home to Portsmouth and if you remember correctly, um, Portsmouth will be looking for their revenge after we beat them 7-1 at Fratton Park. The only change from the Aston Villa game is that um, Ishmael Miller is no longer cup tied of course because it's a league game and he comes in for Freddie Sears even though he did score in normal time against Aston Villa. Um, so let's go with the match we can win this because it's only Portsmouth this is another live commentary if you are wondering um, but yeah hopefully Fraps won't mess up this time um, of course last time I only was able to record the highlights because um, I recorded the whole match and it, um, it failed it was all black screen so hopefully this and as, of course it was typical because it was our best performance of the season and you guys didn't get to see it, which is a which is a real shame. But um, you saw the goals, and hopefully, hopefully that will do you nicely. But that's a long time ago now, so I'm sure Portsmouth has improved by from since then. Here comes Jason Scotland with the run. He's got Ishmael Miller with him. He decides not to play to him. Didn't understand that. Just plan it about our defence, and all the way back to Fulop. Not much to say. This is a live commentary. I don't know if I said that, but it is a live commentary. I'm recording this straight after the Aston Villa defeat. Um, I'm going to try and do a few games today that before starting the highlights, which I think I'm going to do to just so this finish starts up. And I'm probably going to start the AFC Wimbledon one from the demo. When um, I won't start my proper Ipswich Town one until the full game comes out, um, just in case they do a patch or something, something important. Off the crossbar. And then up can take it. But with the AFC Wimbledon one, I'm going to start it like straight away and from the demo. And then I'll still have a t few weeks just to play some games until um, until the game fully comes out. So, and then I'll because you can continue games from the demo when you buy the real games. So that's the good cool thing about the demo. Oh, was that off the crossbar? Or did he save that? I think he saved that. That was a beaut of an effort from Jimmy Bullard, but not to be but never mind them we look decent but so Portsmouth Portsmouth look much better than they were when we beat them 7-1 but of course that can't be you can't really get much worse um, plan it nicely around good ball oh, that's a poor you shouldn't be shooting there um, good football but then we just no end product which is really disappointing on my my point of view we got a free kick in the in the Portsmouth third. Oh, it's in. What happened there? Jason Scotland claims it, but it's tenth of the season. <laughs> I don't I don't know why Ashdown didn't save that, but I guess it was just had too much pace on it or something. But I am not complaining. Jason Scotland makes it one 0 to Ipswich Town. Um, so let's see how we how we do. We've got a lead now, so hopefully we'll be able to protect that. A clean sheet would be nice, but <laughs> they walk straight through our defence and puts it wide with the first opportunity since we scored. So, But hopefully we'll still be able to keep a clean sheet, just get to half-time comfortable first and then see what we can do. They're passing it around nicely, though. OK, that's wide. David Nugent, who does normally score against Ipswich. In real life, and he scores a lot against me in Football Manager. I can tell you that much. <laughs> so, all you Leicester fans for Football Manager 2012, play him against Ipswich because he will do the job for you. Right. So, I think please, I think we can get away with pleased. Um, Ishmael Miller hasn't done too well, but um, Shane O'Connor's pretty not fit. But I don't have a left back on the bench. So he'll have to, he'll have to fight on. He's a young lad, so I'm sure he can fight through it, fight through the pain barrier. But we need to start picking up more wins. I mean, we've we won a lot of games this season, but we've drawn way too many. Um, so we, if we're going to catch Swansea and Burnley, we do need to start winning games properly and more consistently. Um, if not, then it might be playoffs. And even if we do keep drawing, playoffs are definitely not a certainty, certainty yet. Good save there from Fulop. He turned away from his man, which is disappointing. But we managed to get it away, so no harm done. Um, is that going to be another throw-in? I think it is, yep. Yeah. So, um, 
by the way, if you notice any like little two second gaps that isn't recorded, it's just because I'm keep stopping the file. Just because in the last episode against Aston Villa, um, the the lag, the audio lag was just stupid, and then apparently she out kind of ruin the tension. So I've just um, I'm just gonna keep stopping and pausing it every now and then. You shouldn't really notice that much, but if you do, I I apologise. Feel up for to tip that over the bar. Good effort from the. I don't know who it was, to be honest with you. But Fulop drops on the ball there. Rolls it out to Radkoff, who has been a really good signing. He can play at centre mid, he can play a holder mid, he can play at centre defence. So he's a very versatile player for a million, 1.3 million. I was really happy to snap him up. I didn't, haven't looked at him in the full money 2012 demo, um, and I'm looking for a right back. But I'm pretty sure I know the right back who I'll get for my Ipswich Town playthrough when I do. I've signed him on loan already. Um, it's John Flanagan, the Liverpool player the Liverpool right back you can get him on a on a season long loan and um, and he seems like a very good player looks like he's going to be an England international in this game so on 2-0 great finish Jason Scotland what a world class finish that's it so it's the second of the game 11th of the season for Scotland and yeah he's with him and Dishmal Miller looks to be working alright together I was worried that they would be too similar you know big like it in the air, you know, players. But it seems like Scotland's in genre. Ishmael Miller got a hat trick the other game against Sheffield United, and now um, Scotland scored a couple here. Maybe he can get a hat trick. But Lee Martin, he he needs a rest soon. He really does. I was come through. Oh, good keeping that. Oh, Miss Miller was offside anyway, but that was good keeping. Um, so good keeping from Ash down there. I never played as Portsmouth in the film manager 2011, so I wonder what their budget was. If anyone knows, let me know, because I'm assuming it's like next to zero. I wonder how many people take control of Plymouth as well next season. That is going to be a be a difficult one. Maybe I should do that instead of AFC Wimbledon. I only want to do AFC Wimbledon because there's literally like no history of the club. They've literally been formed for like nine years, so that's what I'd like to do. That's why I agreed with the the people who asked me to do AFC Wimbledon. So we'll see. But um, yeah, I'll start whichever League Two club I do. I'll start with the down, oh, no clean sheet and Liam Lawrence at the far post. But that is a that is a blow. I don't want to go too defensively, but I'm going to take Ishmael Miller off. Can he play left wing? Because if he can play left wing, um, then I will take Martin off because he is struggling as he usually does. Or is Ishmael Miller just a plain striker? No, he's just a plain striker. That's a shame. But anyway, let's bring on Luke Hyam just to hold. Hopefully we can hold out for this win. If we don't, I'll be really, really gutted because we deserve the win. We've been the better side and we we can't keep chucking away leads, which we've been doing this season. Good skill there on the right. Ball inside. That's, that's poor. Don't, don't know what he was trying to do there. Let's just pop back to standard. Portsmouth do have the ball. It's got past his man. Straight fool up though with the cross. So that was lucky. If it was a good ball there we could have been in trouble. But hopefully we can form an attack now. And hopefully kill off the game with a third goal. Nope. Header forward. Who's it going to drop to? Drops to them. On the edge of our area. Off the post. Great effort for them. Foul from Marin McQuainer there on Scotland. Into stoppage time, three minutes of it to be played. That's poor. Should have got at least got a ball in. And now Portsmouth can break. I know it's right. So Connor shot. Oh, what was Ashdown doing there? Did he see like move to the penalty spot and the ball just went past him? But went over the bar, which is unfortunate. But we just need to. That is stupid. It forced a one to say, but it's stupid. When you're two one up, you don't shoot from forty yards out. But only a minute to go now. Hopefully we can hold on. Header, great save again. Oh no, it just went over. Good header though. We should have should have wrapped this game up already. But hopefully it won't come and bite us in the backside. That's the 93rd minute and that's the win. So a really good league win. I wouldn't say really good, but it's an important one. Especially after conceding when we did. We could have easily gone on to draw that game. But we managed to hold out and we are um, still five points behind Burnley and six behind Swansea. 
and we are point ahead of Knott's Fast in fourth. And from the playoffs, we are comfortable six points. So I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. Two goals from Jason Scotland got the win. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you guys.